Oh. Hi everybody. So uh, this is probably our maybe our last night of tiki because it's getting pretty cold here in Vermont. And um, I found a drink that uh, I had actually never heard of before, but it's uh, it's apparently a tiki classic that. Um, is uh, it used up a lot of the ingredients that I seem to have amassed doing all this tiki stuff. So it has falernum in it and I've got my homemade falernum. It has cinnamon syrup and I made some cinnamon syrup for our zombies. And so we still have some of that left. Um, this is a drink called the Jet Pile. And um, it has been around since at least the 50s. It was a spin, there was a drink called the Test Pilot that Don the Beachcomber came up with in the 1940s. Of course, in the 40s and 50s, you know, test pilots and jet airplanes were a big um, uh, popular thing, Chuck Yeager and all that. Um, and the original Beachcomber was not too far from Edwards Air Force Base, and um, the Beachcomber had a, uh, a military background, um, or he was in the military perhaps later. And um, I just was told today that today is the 73rd anniversary of the founding of the U.S. Air Force. So in honor of the Air Force and the end of uh, our foray into tiki drinks, we're gonna do the Jet Pilot Cocktail. Uh, and it's a pretty strong cocktail. It's a little bit like the zombie. It's got three different types of rum in it, including a high proof rum. So most um, recipes call for a dark Jamaican rum, a light Puerto Rican rum, and then a high proof 151 rum. Um, I'm going to switch it up a little bit for, um, I'm going to use two different Vermont rums actually. I'm going to use uh, Smuggler's Notch rum, which is a barrel aged rum that's going to stand in for our uh, gold um, Puerto Rican rum. And then I've got uh, Mad River First Run rum, which I'm going to use in place of the dark Jamaican rum. And instead of going all the way to 151, I'm gonna use a Smith & Cross, which is high proof, but it's only 114 proof. So it's uh, Navy strength is what they call it. Um, and the drink also has a little bit of absinthe in it, just a few dashes. So I put my absinthe in a dropper bottle so I can just do a few dashes of absinthe. And it's got grapefruit and lime juice. So uh, it's, a, it's usually a blender drink, but I'm not gonna blend it. I'm gonna just serve it uh, over some crushed ice um, and, and uh, mix it with some crushed ice. So into our glass, we're gonna start with our rum. So we need an ounce of what would normally be our dark Jamaican rum for each drink. And as always, I'm making two drinks. So there is two ounces of the dark Jamaican rum. And then we need an ounce and a half, three quarters per drink, of the light or gold Puerto Rican rum, which we're using Smuggler's Notch instead. And then another ounce and a half or three quarters per drink of the high proof. There's our rum. So we got three different rums. Typical tiki drink with a mix of different rums. And then our juices. So we need half an ounce per drink of grapefruit juice, half an ounce per drink of lime juice. Both fresh squeezed, of course. Then we need a half ounce of cinnamon syrup. And this is just a simple syrup that was steeped with uh, three or four crushed cinnamon sticks and then strained. So half an ounce per drink. So there's an ounce of the cinnamon syrup. Then we need the same amount of falernum and falernum, shake it up a little bit, is a simple syrup made with almonds, allspice, cloves. Oh, looks like we get a little extra in there. So there's our falernum. We need <clears throat> two dashes of Angostura bitters. One, two. And then per drink, we want six dashes or drops of absinthe. So I'm using a little 
dropper bottle here. And that's about here, right about there. Why not? Then we're gonna shake it up. And just shaking it a little bit with crushed ice. And I realized that I've forgotten my strainer. into our rocks glasses that are filled with crushed ice already. Do we need straws? Typically not served with a straw. Okay. And a fairly tame garnish for tiki drinks and it's just a cherry. Because reaching in with our fingers is very sanitary. You, you know, we're all family here. Raised in a barn. I raised in a barn. Actually, the cleanest thing you're going to touch today. Right there. Ooh, the last two. The last two in that jar. They, they seem a little, a little pale. So, this is the Jet Pilot. And uh, it's a good strong drink, which seems appropriate for today. Happy Friday, we'll, and this will be probably the end of our tiki journey. Uh, we'll try this one out. Oh yeah, that's tasty. The cinnamon syrup is really nice in it, and then the absinthe is good too, and, but it's not overpowering, so you just need a few drops. Yeah, I like that. That's very tasty. That's a good one. Cheers. Cheers.